Welcome to the latest Z Code System video back here on the Z Code System channel. I'm Drew and I'm here to talk to you today about the upcoming Premier League games on Match Day 5 in England. And this is going to be an exciting weekend with some big games going on, most specifically the Merseyside Derby, which we play between first place Everton and fifth place Liverpool. And that is going on this weekend at Goodison Park in Liverpool. So guys, glad to have you back here on the Z Code System channel. If this is your first time browsing through, thanks for coming by. We hope that you will end up liking this video and subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on all the great picks we have for the various sports that we cover on Z Code System. And if this is your second, third, fourth, fifth time coming back to the Z Code System channel, then thanks for coming back. And we hope you like this video and you want to just give us a like when you finish watching this video and you want to check out the other videos on our great channel. Now, as you can see right in front of you, we've got the Z Code System blog where you can get the latest updates on different picks we make throughout the week using the Z Code System software to uh, give you these picks for the various sports. And we've got the NFL Week 6 coming up, Cleveland Browns versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's a big game, and that's featured this week on the Z Code System blog. But we've got other things up there, uh, whether it be baseball, basketball, uh, NHL hockey when it comes back, and of course, the Premier League, which you can't see right now, but this blog will be up soon uh, along with this video on our YouTube channel as well as on the blog. And of course, you can always use the Z Code System tools uh, and the VIP wall to get the latest picks for the various games going on and the major leagues around the world. So again, we're talking about the Premier League and we're headed into match day five this weekend. And I wanna give you a couple of picks for this weekend with two of the big matches that are being played. And those games are Everton and Liverpool, as well as Manchester City and Arsenal. Now, of course, as I said before, the blog will be up when you're watching this video. So if you're seeing this on the YouTube channel, you can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog website and you can get the uh, the blog version there and uh, read up on that. And you'll get one extra pick this week that I put there. I'm not going to put it in the video. I'm going to actually use that to get you over to the blog uh, to check that out. And that is for Sheffield United taking on Fulham this weekend. So we've got these games coming up. But before we get to the picks, just want to take you over to look at the Premier League uh, table as we go into match day five. So as you can see there, there is our Premier League table and shock of all shocks, Everton is on top right now with 12 points from 12 possible and they are doing very well. They have an expected points total of 9.70. So they are overachieving by 2.30 points. Fantastic so far from Carlo Ancelotti's team and he's really done some great things there and uh, made some players that some people didn't expect to be uh, top stars to uh, to really perform this season, including Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who's been a fantastic striker for Everton this year. And then again, you can see Liverpool there in fifth place, nine points, and they are uh, basically on target right there, nine points from 12 possible and 8.38 expected points going into this weekend. So we're going to see some interesting things. And I'll just scroll down there so you can check out the uh, lower parts of the table and two surprises there, Manchester City, uh, in 14th place with four points from nine possible and Manchester United with three points from nine possible. So both of those teams desperately in need of points this weekend. And as you can see there, the expected points for Manchester United is just 1.36. So they're not playing very well. And, uh, you know, we're going to see uh, possibly some managerial changes coming up uh, in the coming weeks. Could there be one there at Manchester United? Possibly. But let's talk about these games that are coming up this weekend. And most specifically, we're going to talk first off about Liverpool Taking on, uh, taking on Everton in the Merseyside Derby, and I've just got right here in front of you. I've got the Soccer Buddy tool up now. The Soccer Buddy tool is a great tool to use uh, when we're talking about both teams to score, and we're talking about over under goals, uh, and you can also get a score prediction there. So I'm going to show you the Soccer Buddy tool here, and I'm going to talk through the games uh, as we go on, rather than show you <clears throat> via the VIP wall this week. I'm going to show it to you through the Soccer Buddy tool, which is on the Z Code System website. 
and you have access to that tool when you sign up. So uh, I'm going to scroll down. As you can see, there we've got the different games on Saturday, and I'm going to show you specifically right there the Liverpool versus Everton game. And I've got the hot trend going here. Uh, we are five to six predicting total over 1.5 in games with Everton in the last six games. So that's a great trend uh, to get on right there. Now, this is a huge game. It's the Merseyside Derby for one. Secondly, this is a game where Everton can really prove to everyone that they are for real this season. They're, they've won four games. They're the, one of only two teams that are unbeaten right now. Uh, they haven't lost yet. They've got 12 points from 12. Uh, they lead the league. And this is fantastic for Everton and uh, Everton supporters. Now, the thing is, there will be questions from a lot of onlookers about the quality of opponents that they've played, which is fine, which it really should be, because there are questions around Everton's depth uh, and around whether they can keep this winning streak going. Now, Liverpool will be a huge test for them. Not only is it the uh, Everton's local rival, they're separated by less than a mile. Uh, this is the reigning champions and the team that is right now the sports book's favorite to win the league. Liverpool are coming off of a embarrassing loss on match day four. Liverpool were defeated by Aston Villa seven to two. Let me repeat that. Seven to two Liverpool lost to Aston Villa. It was a result no one expected. And it was a result that throughout the game, Liverpool could not stop the hemorrhaging. They couldn't stop giving up goals. The defense was in in shambles. Um, the defensive partnership of Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez was not working. I don't think Joe Gomez is a very good Premier League defender, at least not for a top team playing in the starting 11 week in, week out. So I expect, or at least I, I would think, that Jurgen Klopp would be making some changes this weekend going into this game, and I think that taking Joe Gomez out would be one of them. Now, Liverpool had already picked up a big 2-0 win earlier this season at Chelsea, so they showed they can beat a top-tier team away on the road. One of the uh, one of the little things about that game is Joe Gomez didn't actually play. It was uh, Fabinho playing in defense with Virgil van Dijk, so I actually like that partnership much better. Uh, Jurgen Klopp has center-back Joel, uh, Joel Matip back in, in training he could end up starting he's actually not played since the last time liverpool played everton um he suffered a, a, an ankle and foot injury in that game and had to go off so his last nearly 12 months have been ravaged by injury uh, but he is a champions league winning center back he and virgil van dyke were the pair for liverpool when they won the champions league just a couple seasons ago i expect if he slots back in liverpool's defense will be far better than it has been so liverpool going into this game losing seven to two last time out. Everton are flying high. Uh, they picked up um, a big win last time out and they're gonna expect to win again. But I keep going back to this, harking back to this, who have they really played? Okay, they've beaten West Brom, uh, they've beaten Crystal Palace. Um, they've not beat the best of teams thus far and this is a huge challenge for Everton. I think that they can go toe to toe with Liverpool. Now, historically, Everton have not done well against Liverpool. Uh, if you go back to their last 22 games in all competitions, Everton have won zero. Everton are winless against Liverpool in 22 consecutive games in all competitions. Now, here's a little, uh, here's here's why Everton could win this weekend. A little bit of fate. The last time Everton defeated Liverpool was exactly 10 years ago to the day that they're going to be playing this weekend, 17th of October, 2010. It'll be one full decade since the last time they defeated Liverpool. So the stars are aligning. It feels like Everton could pick up a win this weekend. And as you can see there, the total score prediction from Z Code System has three to two right there to Everton. Now, I love the idea that both these teams are gonna score. And I love the idea that we're gonna see over 2.5 goals in this game. Because uh, in each of Everton's four games this season, there have been over 2.5 goals. And they have been scoring goals uh, almost at will, but also they have been giving up a few goals. So I expect them to give up some goals and I expect Liverpool to give up some goals. Now, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give you a pick. And I did this with the blog. I'm not going to give you a pick of who I think is going to win this game. Now you've got it right there from the Z code system with picking Everton to win three, two. I'm not going to go out on a limb and pick Everton to win, but I am going to say over 2.5 goals with both teams to score, because I think that this is going to be a high scoring game. I think this game is also going to um, see both teams find the back of the net. Now, 
Uh, Liverpool are expected to be without Alison Becker, their starting goalkeeper, and that has proved in recent games to be a huge miss because even though backup Adrian is a capable goalkeeper, he's not always on his day and mistakes can be made. There was a mistake he made uh, against Aston Villa last weekend. Um, I'd actually blame it more on Joe Gomez because he seemed not to be ready for a, a pass out from the back um, that Adrian made uh, that resulted in an Aston Villa goal. So things to keep your eyes on are the uh, the goalkeeper situation there at Liverpool. Now, another thing to keep your eye on is that the teams are all coming off of the October international break. Now, this is significant because the international break is typically two games for the national teams. But because of COVID-19, things are so compacted right now and games are, uh, uh, there's such a crunch on games right now, we're seeing the international teams, the national teams play three games in the last week. So between last Wednesday and this Wednesday, teams will have played, the national teams will have played three times. Now, this isn't going to be a big deal for some of the teams uh, down near the bottom of the, of the uh, English Premier League, but for teams like Liverpool, for teams like uh, Manchester City, for Arsenal, for um, Tottenham Hotspur, for all these teams that have a lot of international players on their teams, t uh, players who play for their national teams, we're going to possibly see a lot of fatigue come back, uh, a lot of players come back fatigued, that is. So that's one thing to keep your eye on. Um, and uh, one thing of note, Everton, one of their top players, Richarl Richarlson, he's been with the Brazilian national team over in South America playing. Uh, they played on Tuesday night European time, Tuesday morning European time against Peru, picking up a win. He scored in that game, by the way. Um, but he's now got to fly back to Liverpool to play in the game. Uh, and Liverpool striker uh, Roberto Firmino was also uh, on hand for those games uh, that Brazil played. Uh, and he played for, obviously, the Brazilian national team as well. And now he's got to come back. So those are things to keep your eyes on. Um, and as well as Liverpool, two players uh, who missed Liverpool's last game against Aston Villa, Thiago and Sadio Mane. Uh, they are both back after recovering from COVID-19, which they tested positive for and missed the last game. So they'll be back uh, this weekend. So now that's the Liverpool game against Everton. I'm not going to give you a winner. You can use that uh, prediction there by a soccer buddy, but I am going to say over 2.5 goals and both teams to score on that one. Now, before we finish up today here on Z Code System and the Z Code System channel, uh, let's go to that Arsenal Manchester City game, which is right there. Now, this is a game pitting two teams that um, I think um, may go into this quite evenly matched. Uh, Manchester City have some injury issues coming into this. Raheem Sterling is fighting a uh, recovering from a thigh injury. We've also got Sergio Aguero. He's coming back from knee surgery. And we have Gabriel Jesus. He's got an injury as well. Now, if this uh, results in all three of those players missing, Manchester City are going to have a big gap in their uh, attack. They're going to have uh, their best forwards out of this game. Uh, and it's going to leave uh, players like Kevin De Bruyne, uh, as well as Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden, they're going to have the pressure on them to score goals. So I think if those players are going to be out, I really like Arsenal's chances in this game. Arsenal coming into this game, they're playing pretty well. And if we go back to uh, July in the FA Cup, Arsenal defeated Manchester City in the semifinals of the FA Cup 2-0, thanks to two goals from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, Aubameyang has started the season slowly for Arsenal. He's gotten a new mega contract there, uh, but he started very slowly. Uh, he doesn't have a goal yet. He could break out uh, coming into this game uh, or break out in this game. Uh, and the good thing for Arsenal is Aubameyang and several of their other top players did not have to play in the uh, for the national teams uh, during the international break. So they will have a fresh peer in America Aubameyang. Arsenal also made a big signing uh, on deadline day of the transfer window by signing Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid for £45 million. He's a defensive midfielder that should add some more steel to that Arsenal midfield. Um, I expect him to start right away. And of course, all Premier League fans know that Manchester City have a lot of issues with their defense and they continue to throw money at it. Uh, I think it was something like 106 million pounds were put into new center backs um, during the transfer window uh, to sign players. So far, it hasn't really worked. Um, Manchester City, they've won, they, they did defeat uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers 3-1 to start the season. Second game of the season, they fell 5-2 to Leicester City in a big of a shock, uh, a 
shock um, result that resulted in the team going out and spending 65 million pounds on Ruben Diaz to come in and play defense. And then last time out, Diaz even was there, um, but Manchester City was really outplayed in a lot of the game by Leeds United, and that game ended 1-1. Now, if Manchester City dropped points again, I'm not going to say that they're out of the Premier League title race because I think this season is going to be a real uh, crazy season where we see a lot of parity. That word's used a lot in American sports, um, and we don't have it in the English Premier League. We don't have it in European uh, soccer um, because it's the battle, you know, the survival of the, the richest, survival uh, of the fittest. Um, but this season we might see that change. We might see a lot of parity because of COVID-19, because of the uh, congestion of fixtures. Now, the uh, Manchester City for one, Liverpool another one, uh, they're going to be playing in the Champions League coming up this coming week, uh, the ne next week after these fixtures. So they will be um, having even more games going on uh, and more congestion with their fixtures. Arsenal will be in the uh, Europa League because they won the FA Cup last year. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And if Manchester City drop all three points here and finish, you know, go out, uh, finish their first four games played with just four points, um, I think that could be a huge problem with them trying to win the Premier League title. And if we're going to see Sterling, Aguero and Jesus out, any, uh, very much longer, they could struggle in the Champions League when that kicks off this week. But so back to this game, though, Arsenal and Manchester City. Um, again, just like with that Liverpool game, I don't really want to give my give a prediction. I don't want to go out on a limb, put my money down on saying Manchester City are going to win this game because I don't really think Manchester City are going to uh, pull off a win here. I think Arsenal are a very good team and they showed previously in the FA Cup that they can beat Manchester City. Mikel Arteta, uh, the manager, he's only been in the job since last December, I believe it was. Um, and he is uh, he was the assistant at Manchester City un under Pep Guardiola. And is um, y you know he's, he's cut from that same cloth. Guardiola was his mentor. And he knows how to play against him. He picked up that win in the FA Cup. I like Arsenal in this game. I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say they're going to upset Manchester City. But I am going to say, again, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals in this game. The Premier League has seen a lot of goals already this year. The fatigue of coming back from these international games, I think is going to see that trend continue. Uh, in the Premier League this season, games are averaging 3.79 goals after the first four weekends of matches. So I expect the trend of goals being scored to continue. And I'm going with over 2.5 goals and both teams to score, just like in that Liverpool-Everton game. So those are my two picks this week here on the Z Code System channel. Now, you can go over to the blog, and you can read the other pick that I have there, which is Fulham and Sheffield United. And just to let you know, I've given you a match winning, uh, a match result uh, on that one, rather than just uh, goals uh, prediction for this, uh, for that game, that is. So you will have a, a more definitive pick. And of course, you can go over and use the Soccer Buddy tool, and you can get all of this great information that you can see right in front of your screen. And guess what? You've got a bonus game right there with that Southampton Chelsea game. Um, that's been on the screen there the whole time. So hopefully you've noticed that and you're going to take advantage of that as well. So guys, those are our picks this week here on the Z Code System channel. And it's great to be back here with you and giving you this knowledge for the Premier League and giving you our picks. Please guys, if you like the video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and keep coming back for more and more. And of course, don't forget to check out the other videos we have here on the channel. For example, the NFL picks for this weekend and as well as anything else such as the MLB and the NBA stuff. Well, I guess when the NBA comes back as well as the NHL comes back, but we've got lots of stuff here for you and you can keep coming back for more at Z Code System.